right, we pretty much came to the last section of the guide, which is, uh, I think I've mentioned earlier that uh, DX Story uh, will get only games, will stream only games. I mean, w it will record the games, but not the desktop. So uh, it is one issue that you can actually resolve if you want uh, to broadcast your desktop as well at the same time while playing and not having the problem that I had. So uh, it's very easy uh, to set it out. It's actually uh, you're gonna have to use more than one scene. Um, so for the scene one, I have set the DX story, and for the scene two, I have set a screen region. Uh, you know uh, the XSplit default screen region adding. So uh, whenever you're playing uh, in the game, you're gonna have to switch to scene one actually and whenever you uh, you want to broadcast your desktop when you alt tab out of the game you're gonna have to uh, switch to scene 2 so I know it's very frustrating to actually uh, switch between scenes just like this but uh, actually uh, I'm very thankful to explain that uh, you can set up a hotkey uh, for that one so it's very easy you can just go to the tools settings give me one second Alright, I think my microphone is screwing me up so much. Alright, uh, so you go you go to the tools, then you go to the settings, and on the top right from this, you have hotkeys. Whenever you click that one, you have hotkey to every scene, actually. So you have even have uh, for the microphone, and you have uh, to start the broadcasting on your channels, actually. So, uh, all we need is just scene 1 and scene 2. Uh, on scene 1, as I said, we have the DX story. On scene 2, we have the X split by itself uh, without a screen region. So, um, I've said uh, what's the most comfortable for me is actually uh, whenever I'm uh, going to the desktop uh, while I'm playing uh, StarCraft, I'm clicking Windows D, which is between Alt and Control. So, I've set scene 1 to to be like control D. You can set it to whatever you want. You can set it to like shift, I don't know what, zero or I don't know. Yeah. But the most comfortable for me was actually control D. And the scene two was actually uh, was the most comfortable for me Alt D. I set this one and I clicked. Now I'm gonna show you how this, um, yeah, how this one looks in game. Actually, I'm gonna start the game right now. Just give me one second. All right. So. Basically, whenever you're playing, uh, I'm not going to join any game. Uh, let's say you're playing at the moment, you finish the game, and you want to interact with the, the viewers on your stream. What you can do is just click this one and go to Alt D. That that means you're uh, that means that you're switching from Scene One to Scene Two. If I click Control D, I will get StarCraft. Uh, this is the DX story. If I click Alt D, I will be getting the scene too. So basically, whenever uh, you want to switch between those scenes, it's very easy um, and very comfortable actually. So you can get the desktop, you can get the game. And uh, one more thing to mention do not worry about scene 2 screen region because this is the one that's making the game lag uh, for some of us. And uh, uh, do not get scared of it simply because. Uh, um, whenever you are playing the game, you will switch to scene one, and the X split will not be using the scene two for that time, and your game will not be lagging at all. If you are actually seeing, actually, I'm gonna start again to to explain you what I mean. Um, I'm gonna show you the problem. The problem actually uh, for what I had. Give me one second.
All right, I hope you can actually see this frame up here. I have the uh, yeah, I have StarCraft actually kept uh, on 80 FPS. So this is Alt D. This is the the second actually the second uh, uh, scene which is uh, only X split. Give me one second to show you. All right, this is only X split by itself. No DX story, no nothing. As you can see here, it's giving me 34 FPS, which is insanely bad. Whenever I'm moving up or down, it's spiking. It's not good. I I cannot even make a proper selection of the drones. But whenever I switch DX story, actually it's Control D, so you can actually see over here. All right, it, now it's DX story. It will be getting me better uh, better gameplay I can actually select uh, the drones I can scroll left or right without any problem but now actually I think the Camtasia is uh, making me problems because I'm uh, streaming at the moment plus uh, using Camtasia and I'm not getting any difference over here maybe I should lower this one down not really sure yeah there you go yeah I'm getting full 80 FPS without any problem right now so that's the whole problem I've been experiencing and I hope that with this guide you will not be ex yeah you will not be experiencing it at all uh, just like I did so thank you all for watching this guide and I hope it helped you uh, with the problems you had if you have any question feel free to ask so that's it take care